me. Yeah, no, really, I'm actually finally back. Yeah, it, it's, it's been a minute. My class in the last few weeks was really intense on writing, so. However, they didn't need me to write and revise nearly as much as I actually wrote. I'm up to about chapter 18 on my novel. And the class this time, it's going to be kind of more the same. So, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to be able to film again. However, for those of you who follow me that I also follow, I am watching your videos. Well, sort of watching your videos. I'm at least listening to your videos in the background. I turn them on. I let them run. Commercials and all. Well, there's a couple of commercials I've been known to click out of. But the scraping is my little dog doing his thing again. Trying to get into the stuff while I'm trying to film. But, you know, I let it run in the background while I'm writing. And I'm going, all right, I may not see everything, but I'm listening and I'm trying very hard to keep up with the people that I follow. I at least make sure you've got a thumbs up. Sometimes I comment, but sometimes the comment is not much more than a couple of emojis. So I'm working on it, guys. Anyway, yes, I have freshened up the color. Yes, the pink is still here. It, this is, according to the purple that we put in way back when, this was supposed to last about 30 washings. Now, I don't wash my hair every day. And usually, if I've got color in it, I wash my hair with the Schwarzkopf um, Color Saver Shampoo. And that kind of thing. And I use the as much of the conditioner that has the stuff that comes with the color kit as possible and this has been through one bleach now now what i did the roots of course it like stopped about there so this hasn't really been bleached again other than what rinsed through while i was rinsing it out but it's still here and i'm like going don't make me have to cut my hair just so i can change colors but i think it's gonna because I don't really want to keep bleaching over this. Because currently my hair is relatively healthy. And I'm going, but, but I want to change colors. I need to change colors. Anyway, yes, it's, it's a thing. Now, I'm going to be doing some sort of a St. Patty's Day look. No, I'm not Catholic. Never have been. However, a big chunk of my heritage is Irish. So, yeah, I was born on the East Coast of the U.S. Now, people who have had family on the East Coast of the U.S. from long, way, many big time back, you can look at your family and look at your family tree, and look at your DNA, and you are going to find just about every nation possible in your bloodline from people that were here when the rest of us arrived and from the rest of us that arrived, including the ones that didn't choose to arrive. Anyway. I've got Irish, I've got Scots, I've got Welch, I've got one thing that all three of the first three agree on, I've got English. <laughs> um, 
there's probably a little Viking running around in here, you know. It's like, mm. I haven't done the DNA thing. No. Had to take my rings off. Yes, the rings are off because my hands hurt. And, you know, and I've gotten native once we got over here. And I've got some African American from once we got over here. So, a little bit of everything, guys. However, we have St. Patty's Day coming. And, no, I don't drink green beer. If I'm going to bother to drink beer at all, it's going to be some decent beer. If, yeah. Guinness, thank you. If I want something a little lighter, I'll do a hay and hay and do Guinness and Harp. <coughs> that kind of thing. Hay and hay, half and half. You know, you put the Guinness in and you float the harp on top until you start drinking it and it mixes. Anyway, I have got a small collection out of palettes that have greens and golds. We will see where this ends up because I have absolutely no plan. Okay? No plan. None. Not a bit. I've got my moisturizer on. All that lovely stuff. Get my white primer out. Smear that around a little bit. See where we go from there. Oh, and in case anybody's wondering about my brush project, no, I'm not perfect yet. So, I'm down to minimal brushes left to work with. The rest of them are all sitting in their little basket in the bathroom on the counter waiting for me to get my lazy backside in there to clean them. I had planned to do it yesterday, and then I got waylaid into doing errands. And, okay, yeah, I got to go pick the meds up from the drugstore for the kids and all that stuff. Luckily, it's only a few minutes, but still, you know, you can't film this kind of stuff. out in the car, driving down the middle of town, because if you do, the cops get a little peeled. You know how that goes. They get so touchy about some things. Anyway, I've got a matte green in here, this one. This thing, the, lot, the lime green, is a shimmer. But this one's a matte, and I think I'm going to start there. I've got a couple of other greens that are darker, but I'm probably going to use them, you know, towards the edges and that kind of thing. The gold that I'm going to use, this is the LA Colors, um, Shimmer powder stuff, it's completely loose. Which means, yes, there will be some glitter glue involved. But it's just so pretty. And I pick it up for a dollar over at the Dollar Tree. And I've got about five or six different colors. They've got more than that. But some of the better colors don't ever make it to Dollar Tree. You know, that kind of thing. Got some white and a silver and a little bit of bronze. And this one gold. Like I said, there's a couple of other colors 
but they don't really normally make it to the tree. Now, I follow a few YouTubers who are in Ireland. So I may kind of wave at them a little bit. Or at least put their names and stuff and their channels down below. Now, Sharon Ann lives in Ireland, but I believe she's from, originally from Glasgow. And she does all manner of anti-aging care. It's wonderful. She's got some of the best stuff I've ever seen. What part of Ireland, which section of Ireland, I don't know. I've got the same thing with most of the people from Ireland that I follow. I have no idea where they actually are. And then there's Chelsea Murray. I think she's in Ireland. I'm pretty sure she's in Ireland. I think she's in Ireland. And then there's Kaylee. And we're talking about Kaylee that's got that big fancy palette with Susu and all that. Now, she don't know me from Adam's house camp. But I follow her. I love some of her stuff. You know, she's just pretty spiffy all the way around. I think I'm going to take that pale lime green and go right up here. No, I don't have my eyebrows on yet. Wait for it. Now, the thing is, during St. Patty's Day, three quarters of the world decides all of a sudden they're Irish so they can go out and get drunk. And then there are the people who are celebrating St. Patrick's Day, which is a whole other ball of beans. Now, here in the U.S., people tend to get really into the uh, green beer thing and wearing green, and it's all about green and gold. And Ireland is about so much more than that. There's a long history there. A very long history. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up. They have standing stones that are forever more old. They have heroes and stories that come from times well beyond most of us can even imagine. There's music, some of which is gorgeous beyond words. And it's not all pub songs. It's not all about drinking. Some of it's about the people. So you need to look. Go have a look. Now we don't, we do get a few other sort of 
holiday celebrations for this for some of the other nationalities. I mean, we've got Oktoberfest for the Germans. We've got um, there's Tartan Day, which is in April and. But, you know, and there's Greek festivals and all that, but we don't do this kind of celebration for them. We don't sit down and paint the faces and, and do all that kind of celebration. I think we should. I think we should celebrate every nation that's been involved in becoming this place that we're in. For the rest of you, just you know, if you've got other than the nationality for the place you were born, celebrate it all if you can. I know some places it, they they get a little hanky about it, but at least acknowledge it. Yeah, this is my Elf Mad for Matt's Jewel Pop with this dark green. I like it. Stick a little more depth in there. Yeah, the, what I've got in my lap is just a little makeup rag. If you've got synthetic brushes and you like the, the little color switch contraption that's the rough sponge, go for it. If you use natural hair, any kind of natural hair, combed out goat hair, horse hair from trimming a horse tail, whatever, don't use that sponge. It will tear up your brushes. Now, let's see. I've got... This one, this one is the Mad for Matt Holy Smokes. That is a green. I don't know what it looks like on the monitor, but that is a green. I wanted to darken that up just a tiny bit more. And I do mean just a tiny bit. And from there, I'm thinking about starting to work with my gold stuff. Hmm. Hands hurt. Sorry about that. Hands hurt. They just do. It happens. My hands are sometimes very annoying. Now, I've got this weird little round brush. Because when you're working with this stuff, you end up dumping it down into the cap so that you can use it. And it kind of works better with a dab, 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 dab. It comes with this stupid little brush in it. I hate it. So I end up tapping stuff down into that cap. Kind of like that. And then I figure out where I threw that bottle. 
Oh, there it is. Hey, would have bit me. Now, this is the Eye Magic Pigment Glitter Fix Gel. I've used all manner of glitter gels. I have bunches. Different versions, cream versions, this stuff, and none of it seems to work that much different. It all pretty much works the same. It's gooey, it's sticky, and it holds your glitter down. Now, some of them tend to work a little better than others, but I haven't done enough experimentation to know for sure which one I would rather use. I mean, I've got, um, yeah, this one, Hendayan, and I've got, you know, you could just put a little more, um, eyeshadow base on or a little concealer and this is my next bottle of the eye magic yeah you don't get a lot in it that's okay this one's still sealed so you know it, it all depends on what you figure out works for you Now, this is basically just loose pigment with a little stickum that I have applied where I want the stuff to stickum. And then I kind of drag it up a little bit into the other stuff. But I'm not as worried about getting it to necessarily stick here. I'm just trying to kind of blend it a little bit around the edges. Where I want it to stick is down in here where I put the stickum. Now, part of the reason I'm doing this is because, yeah, St. Patty's Day. Like I said, we all get together and do the St. Patty's Day thing. The other reason I'm doing it is because there is a Facebook group that I'm a member of called Makeup Madness. And they're currently doing a challenge to see how many green and gold looks you can come up with. So you're probably going to end up with a whole bunch of green and gold looks. Not just because it's Patty's Day, but because of the challenge. And it's going to be on Instagram and on your screen here for YouTube because there's a bunch of people in this group on top of the fact that people just tend to do these green and gold looks this time of year so get ready for it now just doing this again with the stick on And I shook a little more powder into the cap. It really doesn't take a lot. And the way the cap and bottle are done, when you get finished, you can just flip the bottle, believe it or not, you can just flip the bottle over on top of the cap and then flip it back. And anything that's still in the cap will go back in the bottle because of the way it's made. You have to really give it a good smack to get the stuff to come out of the bottle. It's got this little funnel shaped top where that little squonky nasty brush sits. So you've got this wide top going down to this little narrow slot that's supposed to hold the um, 
little brush. So it can be a little bit handy for trying to get stuff back in. Yes, I've got my mouth flying open because it's concentration time. Now, this stuff, you don't need tons of it to get a really spectacular look. One of these little bottles will usually last me at least a year. because you need so very little. Little dust around there, little dust around there. Now, see, this is what I was talking about with these little bottles. You've got this funky interior. That's a plastic funnel, basically, in the top of there that goes down to this little oval slit that is supposed to hold this stupid little brush. Now, usually, once I take the brush out the first time, I don't bother to put it back. For some reason, I put it back gone now. I am going to go and put on some more face on my face and I will be back in just a few minutes. Well, a few minutes for me, instantly for you. Must be nice. Anyway, I'm going to put my foundation on and a couple other things and I shall return. Hi, I'm back. Yes, I've got some of the stuff on. I mixed up that lime green and the original matte green with under the eyes. I've got this stuff from AOA that's called Buttercream Gel Liner in Pistachio. I put a little of that in the eyebrows and on the water, excuse me, on the water. I've got a little bit of the gold worked into the corner here. I'm probably going to do something else there. I have this gold eyeliner that I got from AOA. The problem is it's such a pale gold, it doesn't really show up. So I took a little bit of the pistachio and did a little bit of kind of a you know, took some of the, the thinner stuff, you know, like Duraline, but not, and made it really thin and at least got more definition to the line in the gold area. I've got the first layer of mascara on. Now I'm going to use a few things that I got recently and a few things that are still in the holder category. Yesterday, my Ipsy came in, and I got a Pacifica Duo blush and bronzer, and I think they're pretty cute. No, I don't remember the names. They had a sticker on this sneaky mirror they had down here on the bottom of the thing, so... I went to move the sticker to the top and, well, I kind of moved it to the top, but it didn't want to stay and it fell off. Anyway, we're going to see how this goes. No, I haven't tested it yet. I stuck my finger in it briefly. Well, not too bad so far. Start off going around with the bronzer just a little. 
No, I don't contour as much as I used to. I try and give myself a little more definition here and there, but let's be real. When your cheek starts dropping so that the flesh is way down here, it doesn't do a whole lot of good to try to carve out the cheeks. There are some rewards for getting this old, but firm skin isn't necessarily <laughs> I'm not that worried. Let's be real. I earned these years. Anyway, once I finish the book, I'll let people know about it. Especially if I can get it published. I may have to self-publish. That seems to be a thing lately. Where you self-publish and some of the agents find you that way. And, I don't know. Anyway, you have to like science fiction and fantasy for this. I did a mashup on genre. And the story itself is going pretty good. Yes, there is some romance. Yes, there is some adult interaction. No, there are no crashing waves, purple throbbing anythings, or that kind of stuff in it. Yes, it's very obvious what they're doing. However, I try not to be either too crude or too cliché. It's just my thing, you know? Nifty. I like that. Let me get this. That looks really, really pretty. Let's see how it looks over here. Ooh. Mama like. Mama like a lot. That's very subtle. I know, once in a while I do so. But it looks like it's fairly buildable. Which, yeah, I can work with that. I can work. Work at me. You know, I've got a sign on my door that when I'm filming, I flip it over and it says, work that crap. The rest of the time it says, knock, knock, yes, it's safe, I'm not filming. And that's actually when I remember. Flip it over. i got to come up with a third one, though, for I'm writing, I'm mid-scene, come in and die. Because <laughs> my husband and my son have the uncanny ability to knock on that dang door when I'm not only like mid-scene writing something relatively intense. I mean, it could even be a battle. They come in wanting to talk to me, not only mid-scene, but in some cases mid-sentence. And let me tell you, there is nothing in the world that can derail a storyline quicker than that kind of, <laughs> yeah, he came to the door just to make a point. <laughs> Mr. came to the door just to make a point. Okay, I've only tried this once now, but this is wonderful stuff. Feels good, looks good, oh god that's pretty. Anyway. Now, I'm going to go into, heaven help me, I got, back when, when Shop Hush was still a thing, they had face candy on there, and this is their mermaid highlighter. They've all, they also had one that's called the unicorn, you know, when all that stuff was going on. Now, this one up here in this corner, even though it really, really doesn't look like it, is a green. It is a green highlight. Whoa. 
So, I'm going to take my little highlighter brush and I'm going to dip it into Siren. And I'm going to, see I told you it was green. I'm going to smear just a little green right there. And it's not bad because you turn your face away, this side of your face away from the light. And you don't really have an odd cast or anything like that. It's just, unless it's in the light, it's gone. I can work with that. Yes, this angle with the brush works better for me trying to do this. I don't know why, it just does. But see, that is an intense bit of green. And I'm going to take this and do boop, right in here, like that. And do the same thing over here, right in there, like that. Put a little more green right there. Sweep it over this just a little bit. Even gonna put a little dot on my nose, just like it was any other highlight. Give me a little Cupid's bow action. Now, I happen to like my Cupid's bow. It seems like everybody lately is trying to cover the Cupid's bow. And I'm going, no, I'm not doing it. Put my other layer of mascara on. The first one I put on is more about length. This one's more about volume. Yeah, I know. I stopped using my serum for a while. And now I've got serum again for my eyelashes. So, yeah, the eyebrows are sparse. The eyelashes are a little sparse. I'm going back to it. Because obviously it works. But once you get started with that stuff, you pretty much have to just live with it for the rest of your life if you want to keep your eyelashes. Some people that didn't wreck their brows to start with. Then again, as my dad got older, his brows started to go. Unlike some older men who all of a sudden turn into the bush monster. His eyebrows started to go. Mine seemed to be trying to go the same way. Even though I got them back for a while after over plucking. But that was the lash serum that I used there too. Got a little heavy with the bronzer over here on that side. Right there at that area. Yeah. Anyway, now, I had managed to find through AOA Studio, they carry um, the clean color line when it comes to lipsticks. 
And I had managed to find an absolutely glorious green lipstick. Where it is this moment is up for the bait, debate at this point. I don't know if the leprechauns got it. So I have this one, which has got a lot more braid to it. And it's a liquid lipstick instead of a bullet. And I'm going to put a little of this on. And then I'm going to use some Mermaid Diamond Lip Gloss from AOA. This one I got online, AliExpress. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those. I'm not going to put a lot of this on. Took me two days to get it off the last time. I was looking at this one for like Halloween. I'll probably be debuting my new steampunk costume this Halloween if I get that far with it. <coughs> But yeah, I will be doing my usual inspirational, you know, you got a kid that's got texture issues or, does, or you don't want your kid's face covered with something that may block vision or you don't want your face covered with something that will block vision. I'll still be doing those, but I'm hoping I have my new steampunk costume ready for this house. See, Diamond Lip Gloss, AOA Studio, the color is mermaid. Is it perfect? Oh no. No, no, no. I don't do perfect. Is it golden green? Yeah, you betcha. I'm going to give it another spray. Yes, I powdered the foundation. The foundation is the stuff I've been using lately, which is the AOA Studio in porcelain and the AOA Studio squeeze tube that's on the pawpaw list. So this goes to help feed animals at shelters, also in porcelain, because I was covering up all of the little blips and blobs all over my face. It's it's starting spring allergy season, so, yeah. This is kind of green, too. It smells like cucumbers. Well, you said green and gold, didn't you? How's that? Yes, I'm a smart aleck. I am a smart aleck. There we go. Green and gold and Irish all over. At least for today. Tell me what you think. Am I ready to fight leprechauns if they get feisty? Have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm.